praising those people. Who are those people? From the people of the book. الَّذِينَ يَتَّبِعُونَ الرَّسُولِ النَّبِيِّ الْأُمِّيِّ الَّذِي يَجِدُونَهُ مَكْتُوبًا عِنْدَهُمْ فِي التَّوْرَاتِ وَالْإِنْجِيلِ The mercy of Allah is entitled or those people will qualify to receive the mercy of Allah. Who are those from the people of the book? Those who follow Ar-Rasul, the messenger, Al-Nabi, the prophet, Al-Ummi, the illiterate, Al-Ladhi yajidunahu maktuban indahum, the one that they find his description written in their books. التوراه عن الانجيل يا اخي ذا ديسكريبشن اوف ذا كومبانيونز اوف ذا بروفيتس اوف ذا بروفيت وير منشن ان ذير بوكس وان ذا صحابه وان تو ذا جريتر سيريا ذا يوست ميتر هكذا وصفكم في التوراه ذيس از هاو يو ار وير ديسكرايب فور اس ان ذا توراه محمد رسول الله والذين معه اشداء على الكفار رحماء بينهم تراهم سجدا ركعا يبتغون فضلا من الله ورضوانا سيماهم في وجوههم من اثر السجود ذلك مثلهم في التوراه ذا كومبانيون نوت ذا ماسنجر نوت سيدنا محمد هيز كومبانيونز طب didn't سيدنا didn't the, 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 the Christians in Jerusalem refused to, to give the keys to Abu Ubaidah and they insisted who must come and get it because it's in the book in their books but they hide it they conceal it he's written there so this person tells him listen no one else is left it's over but now it's the time for a messenger who will migrate Ya Allah. By the way, the Prophet ﷺ did not know the place where he's supposed to migrate to, but later on. Later on, he said, رَأَيْتُ مَكَانَ هِجْرَتِكُمْ بَيْنَا فِي مَكَانٍ بَيْنَ لَابَّتَيْنِ أَوْ حَرَّتَيْنِ I was shown the place where we're supposed to migrate to. This is after Abyssinia and after the Ta'if and after all. Later on, this is a long time ago. It's already written. In the Torah and in the Injil, that the Prophet ﷺ will migrate from Mecca to Medina. And here is the description. He told him, listen, this is the time for a messenger who will come out from the offspring of Ismail alayhi salam. And he will migrate from his hometown to a city bayna harrataini. Between two, um, I think... It's, it's volcanic uh, something. Al Medina is between those two. And that is why the trench, by the way, was not dug huh? all the way circled. The trench was only dug what? In that area where there's opening. The city is known by its palm trees. Here is the description of this prophet. Don't just follow anybody. Verify. لا يأكل الصدق. He does not accept the صدق. He does not eat the صدق. And Subhanallah, the يعني معظم الأنبياء بهذه يا جماعة. Most of the prophets are like that. So for the people to not to think that they are doing this for. And you want Allah, you want another say this. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us sincerity. I would love one day just to do this for the sake of Allah. You know, not to be because it's because once there is dunya with it, it's not good. It, it could spoil and and also it, it, it could turn you to compromise if you're not dealing with the fitness properly, you know. So but the prophets, by the way, they 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 say Qulla asalukum alayhi. Huh? I'm not asking for a wage for doing this. And حتى ال, حتى, حتى their inheritance, حتى huh? if they leave money be, behind them, what happened to it? 
نحن معاشر الأنبياء لا نترك ديرا لا نورث دينارا ولا درهما we do not يعني all the things that they leave behind them it goes to what صدقة their children do not get anything so that the people do not think oh he's collecting the money to leave it for what to be pure فهو لا يأكل الصدقة ولكن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يعني before he what is that? Who given that? Sadaqa or hadiya? La yaqul as sadaqa. A gift, yes. Accepts the gift. Wa bayna katifayhi khatam al And between his shoulders there is the stamp of prophethood. Sayyidina Salman, as this, as soon as this man was uh, died and buried, he right away looked for a way to get to that place. But he knew that it's in the peninsula, but he did not know where exactly. So he found a caravan going towards Mecca. He told them, خُذُوا بَقَرَاتِي وَغُنَيْمَاتِي Take my cows and my sheep and please take me to where you're going. شوف الفتنة, the fitna. They took away his sheep and his cows. And they sold him in slavery, turned him into a slave. He became a slave. All of this in search for what brothers? Truth. From the son of the Dahqan, huh? was treated like, his father used to treat him like what? Little girl, golden. Don't go out, I'm afraid for you to becoming a slave. But subhanallah, he ended up being sold to a Jewish person who lives in a place called Wadi Al-Qura. Wadi Al-Qura was closer to Medina than to Palestine. And when he arrived to that town, he saw some palm trees, but he did not see the mountains. He said, maybe this is the place. And that kind of relieved him. But look at the work of Allah now, subhanahu wa ta'ala. This man, Jewish person, had a relative from Bani Quraidah. Where is Bani Quraidah? In Medina. The Jews who live where? In Medina. And he came to visit him. He saw Salman, very polite, very nice person. He told him, sell him to me. Sold. He bought Salman and he took him to what? To Medina. Salman describes, by the way, his joy and happiness when he is walking into Medina. Because he realized that this is the place. The two mountains are there, the Harratain are there, and those are the palm trees. Medina is like, but see now the construction in Al-Ma'mar is wiping away this beautiful but in the old days, you could tell the palm trees. He spent time there serving his master, a long time actually, some, some years. And one day, he's on the top of a palm tree, fixing something or doing something. And he hears that conversation between his owner and someone else from Bani Quraidah. This person tells his owner, May Allah curse Al Aus wal Khazraj. They are hanging around the man in, in, in Qiba that they are saying he is a prophet who migrated from Mecca. Salman was on the top of the palm tree. He says this as soon as I heard this, I shaped as a chill went through my spine. A dream came through. That's what I was searching for. <laughs> That's, you know, the, the truth. The truth. He said, I'm about to fall down. And I was so excited that I came down from the bone tree and asking my, who is this? Who is this? Who is that? Asking questions about the Prophet. His owner became angry and he hit him in the shoulder. 
And he told him, don't ask any questions. Go about your business. Later on, Sayyidina Salman is to verify, yet, in spite of all these signs, he migrated to the city, the palm trees, but he still have to do what? Verify. He collected some grapes, and he went to the Prophet ﷺ when he was sitting with his companions in the first masjid, Masjid Qiba. That's the first masjid, by the way, the Prophet built in his way to Medina. And he came, Inni araka rajulan salih. I see you a righteous person, and I know you're poor, and your friends do not have whole a lot to eat, and I brought for you a sadaqah. Please accept it from me. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam accepted it from him, but he did not eat of it. He gave it to his companions. Salman went back and he said, Hadihi wahida. This is one. A week or so later, he came back with some more dates. He found the Prophet sitting in his masjid. And he said, I noticed last time you did not eat the sadaqah. This is a gift, a present. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam took it from him and he ate of it and shared the rest with his companions. Sayyidina Salman, this is what? Two. I mean, I would not wait for the third, but he still wanted to what? Be careful, akhi. Don't get deceived by people. Allah, ya jama'ah, this is a time of fitna. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi said that this Ummah will split into 73 sects. Imagine Jannah has 73 doors. I'm sorry, uh, 73 doors that basically the people who are standing by the entrance to these doors, they tell you destination paradise. And all of them, by the way, they say destination paradise. Imagine 73 doors in front of you, and all these doors are saying Jannah, 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 Jannah. And there is very eloquent people sitting by the entrance. Qala Allah, Qala Rasulullah. And there is only one door. Kulluhum finnar, illa wahid. One door only that will take you to Jannah. The seven two hellfire wa al masir. And all of them are saying Quran and Sunnah too. Just like that.